So you're thinking about moving to Orange Beach or Gulf Shores or vacation in here? Well, listen, we did a video, I think last year we did that video of the top 10 seafood restaurants. We did her top five and my top five. Um, and it was one of our most popular videos, but we're catching some flack for it because there's so many restaurants now that, you know, there's been a lot of changes that have mm -hmm. happened to the beach. There's so many restaurants that have actually closed right now they weren't on our top 10 seafood list a lot of them weren't but we thought we should mention the fact that you know you got restaurants like fresh off the boat closed you got fishers upstairs and downstairs closed playa you've got playa closed you got oh so early which is a great breakfast place closed Bahama Bob's burnt down, but they re re they, they recently rebuilt they it back and opened it up. up. Yeah. So anyway, we thought we would redo. Plus, we've heard some horror stories about well, some of the ones that are on our one list. One particular restaurant uh, we did get a good bit of flack from from our personal friends who were here from out of town visiting, and um, they they said, "Where should we go to eat?" Naturally, they they group texted us and. So Andy sent them over our top 10 list. Sent them well, a video. My number one, Big Fish, was closed that day. I think it was a Monday, and they happened to be closed on Mondays or whatever. Yeah. So they went to a different restaurant on the list. We're not going to name it because we, we don't want to hurt any local businesses. Being respectful. But um, they went to this restaurant, had a really bad experience. They gave Andy so much grief over oh it. Oh, my God. They told me I didn't even know what seafood was. They, they, they really gave him a hard time. I laughed and laughed about it. Uh, and then, coincidentally, I, we, a num Cindy, another member of our team, I, I mentioned it to her. And she was like, yeah, I recently ate there. And I had a, and it was always a, a, a place I loved to go. It was always one of my favorites. And I had a bad experience recently. So we're like, okay, we're going to just redo the list. Redo the because list. Because of the ones that have closed and just some that have clearly falling off for falling off reason. the list yeah and you know a restaurant world changed tremendously post covid and with inflation so yeah. you know a lot of our a lot of places are having trouble keeping their prices at a good good rate they're having a hard time with employees so i mean this is everywhere not just here so yep at any rate it was um, definitely important that we come to you with a new fresh list that um we took we debated quite a bit on um we, we should have filmed it there was quite a bit of arguing going on but we finally settled there on was one the restaurant I, we really <laughs> argued on uh andy wanted it higher on the list i didn't even want it on the list but we i agree we agreed <laughs> to move it further down but here we are we have our top 10 and i do think it's pretty good yep so let's get to it right now <laughs> Hey guys, if it's your first time to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and ring that little bell. That way you could be one of the first ones to learn everything there is to know about what it's like to actually live at the beach. You know, the beach life. My name is Andy Haas. This is Aileen Fountain. And along with our entire team, we do videos just like this every single week just to be informative. We just want you to know what it's like to actually live at the beach. So whether it's nine days, 90 days, or nine months until you're thinking about making that move, or you're thinking about selling your place, you actually live here and you want to sell it, don't hesitate to pick up that phone and give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, set up a Zoom call. We'd love to talk to you face to face. We get phone calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every single day, and we absolutely love it. So as we mentioned, today we're going to do a revised top 10 seafood list. This is number two. And if you've watched our previous video, you know, the sea, the top 10 seafood list, we've made quite a few changes. So we have, let's just get right into it. We've, we've debated back and forth on this and we've kind of come to an agreement. Um, we should have probably filmed the arguments that we were having beforehand because it got, it got heated. Um, so anyway, <laughs> as heated as we ever get. Yeah, I wouldn't say heated, but the, <laughs> but the banter was, was really good. <laughs> so anyway, let's just start off with number 10. Number 10 on the list is, um, is Doc Seafood. The Doc Seafood is tried and true. 
I used to think Docs was horrible. I mean, I really did because you walk in there, used to, you would walk in there, you walk out, you smelled like a French fry or, or a hush puppy. And it, uh, it almost, it seemed like they fried everything in the same grease, you know? So it, to me, it was horrible. They probably did. Now, not now. It's changed. I'm telling you, it's changed. And I really think the hurricane changed it. Not Sally, but the one previous to that. Because the whole thing with, with or, or something happened, like they flooded, and so they had to clean the whole place out. I mean, like literally clean He's it out. He's talking about the original one on Canal Correct. Road, where Canal and 161 meet in Orange Beach. But they have a second location, which is a brand new building on yes. Beach Road. And that's going to be the one you're probably going to see if you're driving up and down I assume the food's the same. I don't ever eat at Doc's. I've never eaten at that one. You've never I always eaten at go the to the new one. I always go to the original one. And see, Andy lives very close to the original one, so I can see yes. why he goes there a lot. Walking distance. But but <laughs> the uh, the new building uh, atmosphere looks really good. Never been in it, but anyway, it's on our top ten because Andy goes to the original one all the time. It's fantastic. I've heard the bushwhackers are fantastic. I have heard that. And also, they are unique in the fact that you don't have to sit there and ask. If you drink sweet tea like I do, and you don't have to sit there and ask for them to bring you refills, they set a pitcher of sweet tea in the middle of your table. That's wonderful for our seafood restaurant, Andy. Yes. That, that's... Can't, you Fantastic. can't have seafood without sweet tea. Absolutely. So anyway, that docs is number 10. I do have clients that Every time they come into town, they tell me they are going to Docs. So I, I, I love guess it. there's another person that thinks yeah. Docs is great too. So number nine. Number nine is the Jellyfish Bar uh, and Restaurant in Perdido Key. It is not very far in Perdido Key. There's like a, there's not a lot of restaurants in Perdido Key, but there's some really good ones. Um, and so this one's notable. It's in a little strip center. It's on the second story. So if you're in Orange Beach or even Perdido Key, that one would be a good one to go check out. We both really like that restaurant. I love jellyfish and I have a story about jellyfish. So my wife and I went in there. It was, I don't know, probably seven or eight months ago, something. It may have been longer than that. But anyway, we went in there. The, the, the point is they were having some issues. They were having some help. I think some people didn't show up for work. So anyway, they sat us back by the kitchen and it took, I'm going to tell you, it took 20 minutes to get our drinks. And then when the food finally came out, the food was, was not good at all. And the whole thing was, is that the guy literally comes out. I mean, the, like the little waiter was almost in tears and he said, we're having issues and our kitchen is on fire. <laughs> not kidding. We were sitting right by the kitchen. I was like, do we need to leave? And he said, no, 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 we have it under control now, but it literally caught on fire. They just had a bad night. So we've been in there since then about three or four times, and it's, it, it really it is it's phenomenal. I mean, it's phenomenal. We're starting this list off with a bang. We're talking about <laughs> one restaurant flooding, yes. one restaurant on fire. Right. Well, you know, everybody, every place has issues, but... But my point is they straightened it out, you know, so that like they made it right that night and they literally have straightened it out. So, I mean, it's it, jellyfish them to me. It had to be on the top 10. I haven't been there. I haven't <clears> been to a lot of places in a long time because I don't get out much anymore. But yeah. every time I did go to Jellyfish Bar, I really did enjoy it. So, yep, it's phenomenal. Number, number, eight. number eight on the list is Fisherman's Corner. Now, if you don't know where Fisherman's Corner is, when you're leaving Orange Beach and going across into Perdido Key, which I'll, I'll put a map up and show you where it's at, but you literally circle back up under the bridge there across the, the waterway. And when you go back under there, you're going to pull up to this building and you you're going to be like, there's no way that we are in the right place. It looks like it's falling it, down. It, it, <laughs> it, we're doing a dive bar and restaurant um, list. It, it Probably should have made that list only because the outside, the inside's totally different. It's oh, God. cloth. I mean, really good food. Um, so the outside does not match the inside. No, it doesn't. And it, it is it, definitely worth checking out. If you yes, it is. It. Unbelievable food. I mean, unbelievable food. So go try out Fisherman's Corner. Number seven is a is a place that Andy and I both love to go to. It the, everything on this list is expensive. Um, this one you wouldn't think is expensive because it's outside and the restaurant is made up of, of containers, shipping, like the containers. shipping containers. So you think, oh, well, it won't be that expensive, but it's on the water. Gorgeous, gorgeous views of the pass. 
Um, but the atmosphere, it is really, really good. And the food's excellent. Um, best grouper sandwich anywhere around that is not even up for debate. No, it's phenomenal. And, um, but, but it is pricey. It do not get deceived and think that it won't be expensive. It is just as expensive as all the rest of these restaurants on here. Well, you pay for the view, you pay for the atmosphere. But the food is really good. Yes. The food is good, but you wait in line, you order at the thing. Now the, I will say the food comes out pretty quick. Yeah. I mean, this, the, yeah. the, the, they've got a well-oiled machine working there. So anyway, and you got some healthier options too, like, you know, like cauliflower bites and things like that. So yeah, they have like shrimp tacos. They have, um, I mean, just all kinds of food, but, but it's, it's but yeah, great, 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 great. Really food. good food. So yeah. Um, um, number six on the list is Cosmos. Now Cosmos is one of my favorite places for lunch. I mean, you know, we've talked about that before, you know, cause they have the meat and three and all that, but I don't really ever think about Cosmos for seafood, but I guess I should because mm -hmm. it's fantastic. It is. It's really I mean, good. And it's reasonably priced. I mean, yeah. it's not it's not somewhere that you go. I mean, listen, every every place at the beach is expensive. Every place around the world is getting expensive. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say I that's mean, everywhere. I went, I went to, I'm not going to mention their name, but I went to a steak place, a uh, local steak place here the other night. I mean, bad experience. They're, they're going through some tough times. I'm going to give them another chance, maybe two or three more chances. But but the point <laughs> is, I went and got a steak, and the steak was this big, and that, and it wasn't even. Oh, and it was fifty bucks for a steak. I'm like, are you kidding? Right. I mean, that steak should have been in a restaurant, to, in my opinion, twenty bucks. But we won't get into that. Yeah, so Pop anyway, House has really good food, really good atmosphere. It yes. has been, man, it is at least 15 years solid here. Um, great reputation, good food. Yeah. Um, never had a bad experience there. I've never had bad service there. Food's always been consistent and good. And I will tell you one of the dishes there, there's two dishes there that are probably my favorite and they're not seafood, but one is the chicken Alfredo. Oh, now, Andy, hold on. This is a seafood <laughs> video. And, and the second one is, the uh, the it's Nashville hot chicken and mac and cheese. If okay. you've never had it, holy cow! Anyway, so number six. I mean number number five. Are you talking about <laughs> Luna's or are you talking about Cosmos? Oh, I am talking about Luna's. <laughs> I am talking said about the Luna's. Three. I'm like Cosmos. Well, it's owned by the same people, so and, and they're next door. I can see. And they're next door to each other. Totally different menus. S scratch everything I just now said. Now you see why we've <laughs> argued a lot on this list because Amy doesn't know what he's talking about. Correct. <laughs> So number five. <laughs> number five is Zeke's. Um, we uh, Zeke's, you know, the old Zeke's from way way back. Andy and I had been there many a times. Was fine, you know. It was one of those that just kind of, you know. I, shrug, would, shrug. I wouldn't say it was fine. It, it was fine. It was fine. It was. There was nothing. It wasn't going to make any of our lists. It wasn't fine to me. It was on the water. <laughs> it was on the water. A great view. But, so you know. they reopened like two years ago completely different atmosphere completely different menu well we got called out by the the uh the chef executive chef the executive chef called us out because he said look you you keep talking about all these restaurants and you're not naming zeke's and i'm so like he invited us over we I said, came Cause, over because i thought zeke's was horrible but <laughs> we had a great experience oh god it's wonderful and, and both locals and so we've i've started sending some clients there and uh locals as well have been talking about it so this is now, I mean, it's not just our, our word for it, you know. You can it, check out the video we did on Zinx. It's, I mean, I'm telling yeah. you, Zinx is fantastic. Yeah. Really great atmosphere, good food. So it made our number five on the list. Yep, absolutely. Um, number four on the list is Coastal. Mm -hmm. Coastal is, I mean, you want to talk about a view. Yeah. <laughs> you Coast, can't beat the view. Great view, great, great atmosphere. Um, oh, gosh. And, and I have yet to have anything that wasn't good there. It's all been good. Well, there's a couple things. Number one, I've yet to have a weight, you know, because it's so big, it's big. Yeah, that, true. that you don't have a weight. Um, I'm not saying you're not going to in the summer, but so far, so yeah. good. Um, number two, if you... Like are you sitting in the restaurant and the view that you get is unbelievable. The food is phenomenal. The food is I mean, good. phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And then they've also, um, you know, I know we're talking about seafood, but here again, breakfast it is for a, for breakfast. You need to go check it out. Andy, unbelievable. You you are really losing sight here. I mean, this is a seafood video. <laughs> well. I, we're gonna we're gonna do that, and I would say order the pimento cheese at Coastal. It's really good. It's an appetizer. Really good. I've Not heard. Seafood. I don't like it, but yeah. <laughs> 
But my buddy comes here every time he comes in town. He uh, Lance, and, yeah. and he always says that his it's his favorite restaurant, and the reason why is because you can't get an atmosphere like that unless you go to some place like you know coastal. You know, it's like like co not coastal, but like, like the Bahamas. Um, yeah, like the Bahamas or Mexico yeah. or Costa right. Rica. You know, something yeah. like you you can't get that type of atmosphere anywhere else. Plus, he always gets. I think he gets like the fish tacos. Yeah, and that's. It never, I mean, he's a creature of habit, so he gets the same thing every single time. But that's, yeah. he always gets I've had fish the fish tacos. tacos as well, and they were good. So, yep. um, number three is her favorite restaurant. On period. a lot of our lists, it's, <laughs> it's one of Andy's favorites too. <laughs> I will say that I have eaten there so much that I, I, I do need to start branching out. And I don't know that I would say, I've got to find a new favorite restaurant. I've eaten there too many, but it's Big Fish. I don't think you're going to be able to find a new favorite restaurant. Maybe you can add it to your it's list. It's good to have goals, no. though. Yeah. So, well, Big Fish never fails. Um, the only time, yeah. the only thing about Big Fish is, and you need to be aware of this, is Big Fish does not take reservations. And unless so, you're me and you eat there all the time. Well, and you got to get there early. <laughs> and trust me. And here's the other thing is, too, if you've got a party of, let's say, six or seven people, mm -hmm. And you want to be smart and you send two of them up to go get the table, whatever. They won't seat you unless your entire party's there. You can't even get on the list unless your entire party's there. So, you know, you can't just, you, you, you all have to be there. Everybody in your party, you got to get on the list. It's probably going to be in the summertime. They, they're usually pretty good about getting people in and out. So I, I would say like an hour wait, but just be expecting that. But it's worth it. It's yeah. worth it. There's no view there. It's in a strip center uh, on Canal Road. There's nothing else. I mean, the atmosphere inside is nice. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so yeah. that's that's number three. And Big I'm, Fish is phenomenal. Go yeah. try it out. Number two is not in Orange Beach. It's in Perdido Key. But it is, I think they call it the original point. I've always just called it the point. Mm -hmm. But you want to talk about phenomenal food. Oh my gosh. I mean, the point is unbelievable. And there's a few things that are there that are kind of dynamic to it. I've heard the Royal Reds are, are some of the so best you'll ever get. Ashley on our team, she, she seconds Andy's um, pick and says she's been going there for decades, absolutely raves about it. I'm sad I've never been there because oh. I used to love going to Hub Stacy's and apparently it's just a little bit further down yeah, from Hub Stacy's. I had, I, I really don't, never been there, never heard of it. It's phenomenal. They, they always have live music outside. Um, so you can eat inside where it's air conditioned and it's not real loud. And then uh, the food, I'm telling you, is just phenomenal. And one of the other neat things about them is that they have mullet on the menu, but mullet is conditional. It's conditional on the fact that if the owner, I think it's the owner, they told us that if the owner catches mullet that day, they have mullet. But if he don't catch any mullet when he's out fishing, they ain't got no and mullet. And Ashley said it's like a 4,000 calorie sandwich. It comes on like te <laughs> Texas toast and it's like really done well, up. They also have an appetizer, which is just like fried mullet tails or something or whatever it is. But I mean, it's like, I'm, I'm just telling you, it's a unique restaurant, but it is it is hands down some of the best food you'll ever put in your well, mouth. Well, I have got to get there because Andy and Ashley have absolutely raved about it. So yes, I'll definitely get it is there. phenomenal. Um, so we're here at number one. Our number one uh, seafood restaurant is Louisiana Lanyard, which is at San Roque. It is upstairs. Um, the restaurant below it has changed. I don't know, like four times in the last 10 years. It, if any of you out there want to buy it, it's for sale right now. So yeah, it's, it's <laughs> And we sell sale. real estate too. Yeah, but, that's right. But no, it um, it was Grazi's for forever. It was Grazi's Louisiana Land Yacht. Like just yep. consistent, steady, those two restaurants. And then Grazi's closed and nothing below it has been able to stay open. But Louisiana Land Yacht has been there forever. It is tried and true, like Andy said yep. earlier. Um, excellent food. I have clients and friends that every time they come down, they want to go to the Land Yacht and rave about it. Um, I've never had a bad meal there either. Great, um, great location, no. great view, great food. So, and here's one of the one. unique thing about Louisiana Land Yacht. You know, most restaurants are, they'll either bring you bread to put on the table, or they'll bring you, you know, like rolls or whatever. And so at Lanyap, you get hush puppies 
and they're unlimited hush puppies. So like literally you eat a basket of hush puppies, they'll bring you another one. <laughs> and it's like, holy cow. I mean, I'm telling you, it, yeah. and everything in there is just great. It's great food. Yep. Um, it's yeah, it's it's right above where fresh off the boat used to be, fresh off the boat clothes, and like I said, fresh off the boats for sale. So anybody who wants to buy a restaurant, just call us, we'll hook you up. So, but anyway, that's our top ten list. Um, we love your feedback. If we missed a restaurant that you love, put it in the comments. We will evaluate it. We're always updating lists and and doing lists because we. You know, it's something that, you know, everybody likes to do. They want to go out to eat. That's the, one of the number one questions that we get from clients or people visiting that, that talk to us is, oh, yeah. where should they Where'd go to eat? eat? So, and also, listen, put in the comments um, what you think of this list. You know, if, we, if you don't think we got something in the right order, put down your favorite number one restaurant. Tell us. Give us some ideas. We're always looking for new restaurants to go try. So yep. if you know a secret that we don't, then put it in the comment and yeah. let us know. Zeke's is a perfect example. wasn't on any of our lists. We went, we ate, we loved it. It's now oh, number yeah. five on our top ten. So. Absolutely. So listen, that's going to about do it for today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and ring that little bell so you can be one of the first ones to learn everything there is to know about The Beach Life, what it's actually like to live here. You know, we love it. The Beach Life. Who, do. who doesn't love it? So until next time, be sure to watch some of our other videos. And until next time, we hope to see you around town. Hope to see you around town.